Hi guys and welcome to Tramp Universe. Before we start, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who requested a video about the strength of Dolph Lundgren. Hans Dolph Lundgren was born on the 3rd of November 1957 and raised in an academic middle-class family in Stockholm, Sweden. He is reported to stand 6 foot 5 inches tall and hit a career peak body weight of 113 kilograms or 250 pounds while filming Masters of the Universe. As a child, Dolph suffered from several allergies and was in his own words a runt. He had an early interest in playing drums with aspirations of being a rock star, but after a problematic childhood caused by an abusive father, as a teenager he was sent to live with his grandparents in northern Sweden. His grades soon improved and he started to play ice hockey, lift weights and study karate, which he kept up throughout high school. After graduating high school with straight A's, Lundgren spent time in the United States in the 1970s on various academic scholarships. Studying chemical engineering at Washington State University between 1975 and 76, and then Clemson University. He later returned to Sweden to undertake his mandatory national service in a Swedish Marine Corps at the Coastal Rangers School. In 1979, while serving in the Marines, Dolph was selected to fight at the second World Open Karate Tournament in Tokyo, Japan. Still only a green belt, Dolph had to borrow a brown belt to be able to fight, but despite his low ranking, he knocked out his first two opponents before eventually losing to a second-degree black belt, Makoto Nakamura. Shortly after completing his national service, Dolph enrolled at the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm to study chemical engineering. While there, he competed at and won the British Open knockdown heavyweight title in 1980 and 81, and also became the Australian Open champion in individual and team events a year later. Now a first degree black belt, at the age of 23, Dolph completed his master's degree in chemical engineering on an exchange program with the University of Sydney in Australia. Graduating at the head of his class, Dolph was awarded a Fulbright scholarship to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Boston. While preparing to move to Boston, the now 25-year-old PhD student met and fell in love with singer Grace Jones and decided to move with her to New York City. While there, Dolph took up modelling at the famous Zolly agency to make some extra money. Being a bit too tall and muscular for a model size 40, Dolph started working as a doorman at the infamous night spot in Manhattan called the Limelight. Dolph was to begin at MIT in a few months until a friend told him that he looked like he should be in the movies. Dolph listened and started to study drama at the Warren Robertson Theatre Workshop in Manhattan. Dolph's motion picture debut came with a brief appearance in the James Bond feature A View to a Kill in 1985. His breakthrough performance followed shortly afterwards when he starred in Rocky IV as the imposing Soviet boxer Ivan Drago, a role that would bring him worldwide attention and lead to future feature films including Masters of the Universe, Showdown in Little Tokyo, and Universal Soldier. Dolph went on to appear in over 80 movies, and now holds the rank of a 4th degree black belt in Kukushin Karate. His other athletic accomplishments include being the captain of the Swedish national karate team, and individual champion of the Swedish, European and Australian heavyweight full contact divisions. Before we answer the question, how strong is Dolph Lundgren, I think it should be noted that due to Dolph's devotion to combat sports, he's never trained specifically for strength as he believes it will come at the expense of endurance. For that reason, the majority of his weightlifting is focused on bodybuilding for his roles in movies, while maintaining the agility required for martial arts. Even so, Dolph did focus on bodybuilding to add a good amount of size to his frame for Rocky IV in 1985 and Masters of the Universe in 1987. But according to articles in Muscle and Fitness, even during his peak he was never super strong, saying that he was too tall and had long arms. He is said to have never gone above 136 kilograms or 300 pounds for the squat, bench press or deadlift. Dolph will be 65 later this year but still stays in excellent shape for his movie roles and duties revolved around his commitment to Kukushin Karate. But as always it'll be great to hear your opinion so please leave a comment below letting me know what you think of Dolph Lundgren's strength. 
I've left credits and social media links in the description below so please check those out and give them a follow. And finally if you enjoyed the video please help to support my channel by smashing like, sharing the video and if you haven't done so already by subscribing. Thank you.